A warning to stay away from those waves right now is pretty gusty out there. Yeah, it's going to be a factor as we head into the weekend. And of course, more rain is on its way to the Bay Area. Tonight, a little lull in the action, just a few showers as we head through most of the overnight hours. But let's take a look at what we're in store for after those few showers tonight. Tomorrow is another first alert weather day with heavy rain and windy conditions moving back in Saturday, especially the first half of the day. And then the next storm is going to be right on its heels, arriving Sunday night, continuing into at least the first half of Monday. Let's take a look at first alert. Doppler, and right now we're tracking the last of today's showers beginning to wind down, except in the Santa Cruz Mountains, you're still hanging on to some additional shower activity that should quiet down here over the next couple of hours. Futurecast does show the possibility of few sprinkles as we head through the rest of this evening, but we're going to be waiting until before the sun comes up, but to the early morning hours on Sunday, Saturday, excuse me, for the next wave of heavy rain to approach the coast, and that is going to surge into the Bay Area as the sun comes up on Saturday morning. This is when the heaviest rain is going to fall area wide. Tomorrow morning is when we're most concerned about more widespread flooding problems and the potential for more wind damage. Most of that just more on that in just a moment. At the end of the work week, it's something I can't talk. That heaviest rain moves off to our east by late morning, but we're still going to see off and on showers as we head into the afternoon. Keep that in mind if you are headed to the 49er game. The good news is the heaviest rain should move out before kickoff, but it's still going to be wet and there's still going to be a few showers and it's still going to be breezy as well. Some hit or miss showers are going to continue into the evening, becoming a little bit more widespread during the evening temporarily, and then we're back into that hit or miss pattern overnight. Sunday, we wake up with a few showers. The rest of Sunday is looking pretty dry while we wait on that next storm system to start sending some moisture towards us already by Sunday evening with more widespread and heavier rain making its way across more and more of the Bay Area as we head through Sunday night into the first half of Monday. You can kind of see the radar simulation twisting a little bit. Looks like the heart of the storm system is going to track right over the Bay Area on Monday, which brings in the possibility of some thunderstorms, some small hail, and the potential for some gusty winds once again. It's out of both of these rounds of rain tomorrow and then Sunday night into Monday. On the low end, we're talking an inch to an inch and a half of additional rainfall, even in some of the rain shadowed spots. Most valleys of the Bay Area are talking about between an inch and a half and two and a half inches of additional rain falling on already saturated ground. It wouldn't be much if this was in the middle of a dry pattern, but we're received, we have received, see what I mean, so much rain over the last several days that it just doesn't take much to cause additional flooding. And some of the higher terrain spots in the North Bay Mountains and the Santa Cruz Mountains could pick up more than four inches of additional rain. The winds are going to pick up as we head through the rest of tonight and into early tomorrow. Wind advisory goes through noon tomorrow. And the period of gustiest winds is going to accompany the heaviest rain. That's going to be early tomorrow morning. Widespread gusts in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range, some gusts up to around 50 miles an hour, certainly strong enough to result in more wind damage and more power outages. End of the high Sierra, another big snowmaker in store. The winter storm warning goes all the way through Monday at 10 p.m. They're going to add up feet of additional snow. Futurecast indicating three to six feet on top of what has already been adding up today. This is going to be a huge snowmaker for the ski resorts. Eventually, the pattern dries out so you can take advantage of all that fresh powder up there. After that round of rain Sunday night into Monday, we'll see a chance of showers Tuesday and Wednesday, but that's going to be lighter, more intermittent activity. No additional flooding there. And then we dry out Thursday and Friday, the beginning of a long stretch of dry weather that should carry us through the following weekend. And we can kind of do some cleanup and just get past this wet weather pattern. Temperatures right now are in the mid to upper 50s across the board. We'll only drop down to the low 50s tonight, but with the rain falling tomorrow, even when it's intermittent in the afternoon, we're only going to warm up to the mid to upper 50s Saturday afternoon which is actually pretty close to normal for this time of year. The seven-day forecast does include that additional alert day on Monday. That's when we could hear a few rumbles of thunder along with the wind and flooding threats. And then just light showers Tuesday and Wednesday. And mercifully, a couple of dry days Thursday and Friday. We can all look forward to that with partly cloudy skies in store for us by the end of next week. But we have to get through the holiday weekend first. Ryan?